I fed the donkeys, tucked in the chickens, did not trip over the cats for once. And now it is time for a Goodwill Bins haul. You ready for this? It's gonna take a minute. So as you saw in either the previous video or right before this, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna edit this together because I don't know how long it's gonna be. I went to the bins for the second time. Now the first time was back in May, the end of May when I was first getting started at reselling and I found over 100 pounds of things. I think I have 66 pounds roughly and I paid around $60. Maybe it's 56. I'll get my receipt and I'll put the real numbers here. It's out in the truck and it's cold, so I'm not gonna go out and get it right now. Uh, let's just get into this. I have a bunch of stuff and I wanted to go to the bins again because I was participating, I am participating in the reseller swap box with Courtney on Common Tags. I'm sure most of you know who Courtney is. She's amazing and has really good ideas and really likes to help people build community um, and I was super excited that I got to participate in this. So I was going to find some things to round out my box uh, and it wasn't really a great day. I mean I got stuff because I needed to grab a few things anyway but you'll see. And there may be stuff in here that I don't know what I had because literally it was a Friday afternoon, it was super crazy, I was super tired and I just grabbed stuff. Yeah. And hopefully I sent Courtney good stuff. Like. Oof. Because I didn't go through the whole bags when I came back. I just thought, oh, there are a couple things I really want to send. I'm going to pull those out. And I didn't look at everything. So let's see what I got because I have no idea. It's been two weeks. <sighs> All right. First things first. Uh, this is a hat I got. It was at the bins in remarkably good condition. Um, it is modern. It actually says it's made of paper yarn, which is kind of cool. Um, and it is Alberto de Herrera. And it has an RN number. Um, it has the tags here. So it's got tags there. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I just love a hat. This one's in pretty gosh darn good condition. So, and I haven't tried it on to see if it'd fit me because I need to put some Lysol in it to sterilize it. So first things first. All right, what else is in the bag? I have three bags full, by the way. I was gonna sing the Baba Black Sheep song, but I have a feeling that that's not a great song to sing. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I have three bags full of stuff and we're gonna go quickly. So this is a jacket by Vertigo Paris and frankly, okay, if you know me, if you've watched this channel before, you know the buttons. Look at those buttons. Those are insane. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's this maroon. Um, still has the belt. So it's a lightweight kind of trench. Wouldn't that be beautiful um, for the holidays? It's a little sparkly. I need to get that cleaned and listed. Anyway, I got that. Um, oh, did I say what size that was? Size medium. Now I did, it was, yeah. Anyway, someone stole my UGG. It was crazy busy. And I either put some footage before this or in a separate video, I think, because I tried to film a little bit when I went, but then I gave up because I was just, I had to dig and I needed two hands. And you can't do that with a cell phone. Um, and I wanted to come home. So ooh, my nose itches. Sorry. That's awkward. I hate when my nose itches on camera. Um, so some of the stuff I couldn't send to Courtney cause it was too heavy. There's a dress I really wanted to send. It had decent comps. It's missing a belt, but it was too, it was literally two pounds. I would have had to take two other things out. So I didn't. Um, this is a, just a fleece jacket, um, Navy and kind of a dark forest green. Um, Black Cat Outfitters Crystal Mountain, and I don't know if that, oh, outerwear, Crystal Mountain. Let's see, did I have a tag on this somewhere? It's got a nice, you know, kangaroo, it has nice pockets. I thought it was kangaroo, but it was wrong. Um, does this have tags, or did I just grab something with no tags? I've been grabbing a lot of stuff with no tags lately, which I need to stop. Um, like, I don't care if it has a tag, but some people get weird about that. Anyway, it's a really cool, nice, squishy fleece. And one of the cool, th oh, one thing I was doing is it's super cold. Y'all know it's cold where you are, unless you're in California. But it's, some parts of California, cold right now. Um, but I also was grabbing jackets that would be great to donate to the homeless. So I will look stuff up. And this one I might just donate anyway because it's a really nice warm fleece and it's a pretty big size. Probably an extra large or 2X, guys. Um, so I may just donate that one. If I can find anything about it, I'll see. But I have some things in here that are just intended straight to be donated. Um, so this is a Sag Harbor, uh, vintage Sag Harbor jacket. What size is this? 14. 
good size and I have sold a couple look at that it's just a classic again another great Christmas one not as good as the one I sold with a velvet collar for $49 for full asking price but I will probably list this around 32 33 and if someone doesn't pay full price I'll probably get around 25 for it is my guess um, I've been jackets right now super hot and I love vintage, you know that. So the vintage jackets are kind of right up my street. This, I might have to try on, but I don't think it's like plus size. Um, it's a size 18, but I don't think it's like a plus 18. And it is, ooh, it needs aired out is what it needs. So K Studio Collection size 18. Again, this would be so pretty for a holiday dress. The dark romantic florals are in very 90s. Um, this is long and flowy and has that good vibe. This is, I need to get this one listed. Um, and it does have some little sparklies. I don't think it's vintage. It's made in Sri Lanka. I don't think it's vintage though. That tag could be. It's possible the tag is more vintage. Uh, most of the modern stuff, you know, have the tags down here with the make and the contents and the care. This one has it on the back. So I'll look it up and do some research. But it's just a really pretty dress. Goodwill wanted $10 for it, so it didn't sell. What do we have here? Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh! These are new with tags which is why I got them. They're only necessities, size medium, and they're just flannel pajama pants. Um, these would make a great, you know, Santa gift. We always um, opened the jammies first on Christmas Eve so we could wear them Christmas night and wake up and open presents with them Christmas morning, that kind of thing. Um, so I will steam those and get those listed. Yeah, those are in good shape. Let's see, what is this? So much fun. I haven't opened. I don't know what's in here. This is rock and roll cowboy panhandle slim size extra large. Uh, the whole Western kind of vibe is still in, but still kind of not in. But this was just really cool. Um, has like agate pearl instead of just the plain pearl and is a really fun shirt. And actually, um, Nathan, who uh, subscribes. I don't know. Nathan, are you watching? You subscribed. That was really sweet of you, by the way. He bought this great leather coat for me and likes this, uh, like this cowboy hat that I had, which was too small for him. So I'm still looking for a cowboy hat, by the way, but he kind of likes Western shirts too. And I think this one might look really good on him. I don't know if he's a brown person. So this is kind of brown, but it, because it has a little bit of a, it has a little bit of olive and kind of a maroony cast to it. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was fun, and I think he's an extra large. So I grabbed it, but I'll sell it if he doesn't like it. I mean, I'll sell it if he does like it to him. If, so let me know, Nathan, if you're watching. Um, this was so pretty. This is 100% silk, and the lining is also silk. This is supposed to be a two-piece set, which it's not. Um, whew, and Goodwill had it listed for $19. That's what, $20. That's why I didn't sell. It's a Coldwater Creek size 16, but oh my gosh. Isn't this gorgeous again? So pretty for the holiday. Just a basic sheath dress, but with that red and silk, um, I would throw like a little bolero jacket over it or something like that. I'm sad it doesn't have, I don't think it has. No, I'm sad it doesn't have the jacket with it. Oh my nose, I'm so sorry. Uh, my allergies have been killing me and it's freezing out. I don't get it. Anyway, um, just pretty. So silk and silk and silk, lovely. I should have sent that one to Courtney. That would have been lightweight and go oh. See, I needed to dig in the bags. I just had a couple things I sent her that I, when I grabbed them, I was like, oh yeah, this, she likes this brand. Oh yeah, this might be okay. But then no. Um, this was just fun. It's tease me. Ooh. And it's a size three, made in the USA, dry clean only. Um, but it is a vintage little prom dress. And now it's all wrinkled because it's been sitting in a bag for two weeks. Um, but it's got this like stick up little half bow thing, a uh, spaghetti strap here and a wider strap. A Y. I think this may just tuck in and it's supposed to be one strappy, but it doesn't look like it tucks in well. So now I think it's just, anyway, it has a bow in the back, but this is just really cute. It's vintage. Um, let me see, that looks kind of like an 80s tag, but I'll have to do some research. 
tease me. Hmm. This is not a good camera light situation here. My bangs, okay, I got bangs. Oh, things you don't care about. Just get to the stuff. I'm just getting to the stuff. Okay, there's stuff. We got bags. Oh, these are jammies too. What are these? These were super cute. Oh, these have little cherries on them. Look at those cute pajamas. I wish there was a top with them, but they didn't have a top. And are these anything? Secret treasure size medium. I don't know, probably some Target brand or something. Can you see that? No, because it's not focusing. Maybe. There we go. Ooh, kind of. Mm. Um, there we go. That's better. Um, so I don't know. They were just super cute. And I've sold pajamas when I list them. So people like cute little bottoms. And with the cherries and the blue, that's a nice combination. If they weren't all wrinkled from being in a bag, I think one of the reasons I also got them is they felt pretty, like, new. Not super worn. So, which you can't say, but, you know. Because I don't know. This is, ooh, a London Fog size small petite. Um, just a really nice, like, ultra suede jacket. And has an interior pocket, gold lining, sassy. Let's see, what are you? Um, poly, 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 of course. Where were you made? Do you say where you're made? Sri Lanka. Do they still make st stuff in Sri Lanka? Anyway, it's not vintage. Or if it is, it's like barely vintage. Um, but it's just a really nice coat. And London Fog is quality. At least in my world is quality. I don't know. Some of you. I feel like, oh, hi. Don't mind me as I just break everything. What is this? Oh, this is a fresh produce extra large, made in the USA, little kind of A-line dress with pockets. Um, and I don't know this brand. I think, I, I mean, I've heard of it, but I was hoping this kind of would fit me. It's really cute. Um, though Hannah just left me that really super cute linen gap dress when she left. It's kind of the same color, so I don't know that I need two dresses in those tones. I'll do a little research on this, see what it is, but it's extra large, so I grabbed it, and it's really cute, in good shape. Let's see, what else have we got here? This was Zenana Outfitters, size one. I didn't know this was in there. I could have sent this to Courtney, too. I don't know if this is a good brand or not, but it's kind of a, it's 1X, um, made in Cambodia, and it's just kind of this, it's kind of a legging look kind of vibe. Just like a weird baby doll dress. Actually, I probably would love this if I put it on, unless if it's drop waisted, no. Cause then it'll just like ride up on my butt cause my butt sticks out. So this drop waist, not good for me. Um, but just a really cute, basic, throw a scarf on with, ooh, with boots and tights. So cute. Sassy little scarf, big earrings, just saying. Uh, let's see, what else have we got in here? Ooh. Oh, this was a fun shirt. This is Vintage Wrangler. I was excited about this one. This one also might be a Nathan. Hey, Nathan, if you're out there. These colors, I think, would be better on you than the other one, but look at that. So cute. Oh, this sucker needs a wash, and it's going in a different pile. I mean, they're all going to be washed, but this one, like, needs it now. Uh, oof, oof, someone, oof. Uh, so it's a Vintage Wrangler. Um, yeah, it's made in Honduras, but it's on, there we go. But it is so pretty. I just love those colors. This would look really cute under the leather coat. Just saying. That one is going in the, the steam me now pile. Wash me and soak me and do whatever you need to do to get me feeling better. Okay, what else we got? We're almost at the bottom of this bag. I'm trying to go quickly. Oh, this is for... Uh, these are just sweatpants. And these are for the... They have a little bear on them that are cute. I don't know what they are. Do they have it? Oh, Comar Kids, New Jersey, New York. Um, but these are for the adopted grandson, which I need to take them downstairs. So not my adopted grandson, the parents. So uh, what else have we got here? Oh, I put down... I put back so many, so, so many, like, cool, kind of cool 90s dresses. Um... I just was not, ugh. anyway. So this is a Carol Little, size 12. This is probably vintage, do you stink? Oof, you were what, next to that shirt, but this is, it's not 
animal print, but it's kind of got, has that vibe. It's really long. Are you reversible? I feel like you're reversible. No, it just has then the, um, ooh, someone bought something. I forgot to turn off my notifications, but I just sold something. I'm excited about that. Uh, that's cool. Um, I need to take it off eBay. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So yeah, just a really cute sheath dress has a little flare on the bottom. Are you dry clean only? Don't tell me you're dry clean only. I hate it when you're dry clean only. Um, made in Sri Lanka, polyester, polyester. Of course, if it's polyester, my dry cleaner just tells me to take it home and wash it. So she tells me what I can wash and usually she's been really right about it. I haven't damaged anything. Anyway, I'll figure this one out. It's really cute, but it's going in this stinky pile. Actually two stinkies out of the whole bag so far, not bad. Um, ooh, this was pretty. So I don't know about this. And this is, oh yeah, this is Target. I think who, what, where, size 3X. But I got this one on style because it's linen also, I believe. I'll double check. But it is, look at this cute, cute sundress. And you know I love red, black, and white. So I love the black stripes. And then it's just kind of a baby doll style. It does have pockets. No, I could be lying. Do you have pockets? No pockets. Um, but it's just really pretty. And I believe it is linen. Watch, I'm totally lying and it's not linen, but we'll tell you here in just a second. Oh, linen rayon blend. So it's really cute, really pretty. Can I wash you? Yes, I can. It's going in the wash pile as well. It was by the stinky things. Okay, let's see. Another bag over here. Let's just see what we got. Oh, that hat is in the picture. Put the hat over there. There we go. Um, this was a, I wanted to send this dress to Courtney. It had really good comps. This is a Matilda Jane. Um, this is an extra small. Not really good comps, but pretty good comps. And it's really cute. It's just stripey. Has this kind of inset placket here. Is that a placket? I feel like it's a placket. Um, and then has this cute floral band. It's supposed to have a belt, a thin belt that matches this. So what, if so, if this was too long for someone, they could take a trim off the bottom and then make that their belt, which would be perfect, or just a cute little black belt or green belt would be fine with it. Um, it's just a basic straight knit sheath dress, but comps are really good. It was too heavy to mail. So I would have only been able to send Courtney five things and I didn't want to send her that few, so. That one didn't go with her. Ooh, I think this dress is mine, by the way. <laughs> At least I hope it's mine because I love it. Let's see, what are you? I don't even know what you are. Just says boutique, size 1X. Um, have no idea what it is, but it is this really, really, really cute, loose, flowy, um, black and white stripes. I'm sorry I'm blinding you, woo, hello. But yeah, what size are you, your 1X I said? Yeah, but it's really oversized, so it may be a little too big on me. I don't know. I'm at like a 1X, 2X. I'm between the two. And right now I feel like this shirt is not doing anything for me, but it's cold out. So there we go. Um, that one might be mine or it might go in my closet because like literally I'm pulling more and more things out of my own closet to list because it's so hard to find plus size while thrifting. I do a pretty good job. I mean, I'm seriously, but it takes me time. So... I want to find more cute things, but I'm doing my best. What is this? I could have sent this. Why didn't I send this? What is this? Oh, it's a little sundress. Oh, I don't think this was anything special. Uh, Napua, Napua Collection Honolulu, made in Indonesia. Um, but this is just a really cute, this is inside out, but you get the idea. Gray and leaf pattern, just a really loose and flowy dress. It feels really nice, just so fun. Adjustable spaghetti straps, which is fun. Um, loose and flowy. I don't know if that's a good one. If that was a good one, I should have sent that to Courtney because it's pretty light. I thought I was gonna send these to Courtney, but I don't think they're worth anything. Um, Frenchie and Geo made in Italy. So I was like, ooh, made in Italy. They're size 44 and then this tag is totally faded. So I think they're vintage. But when I look them up, either I didn't look well enough or I just didn't find them. But they're these really fab, like yellow and floral pants. They've got a flared bottom on them. Someone has folded them up and cuffed them. So I need to wash them and see if those lines will come out. Um, but they're just kind of fun. Anyway, I don't think comps were good enough. I was gonna send those. I just thought, ooh, made in Italy, possibly good. And then, you know, my phone dies. So 
I got to a place where I could not look up any more comps at the bin, so I was just kind of buying blind. What are these? Oh, these are these were 808 Hanua, made in the USA, 3XL, and I don't know if those are vintage, but they're like these big parachutey pants. The zip front, they're kind of grayish. They kind of look like scrubs to me, but I also thought they were kind of cute. And if they're, I think they're high-waisted, let me look here. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, that's about a foot, I would say. Yeah, 13 inches maybe. So they're pretty high-waisted. I don't know. I don't know what they are. And I think I tried to look them up. I wanted to send Courtney a mix of things. You'll see what, you'll see if you go, oh yeah, if you're watching my channel, obviously you gotta go watch the stuff that I sent to Courtney and let me know if I did a good job. <laughs> I'm feeling, but you also should comment on both videos because it's really good for the YouTube algorithms and we all love algorithms. Yay, algorithms. Such a doofus, you know that? <laughs> if you're here for the first time, by the way, hi, I'm Amy, the rainy day shopper. I forgot to say that. I just was like, I've got to go faster. So I'm going faster. Plus I have to cook dinner. So this is Active USA. I thought these might be something to send, size large, but they weren't great. But they are these high-waisted, super flowy tan pants. Um, neutrals are in and these are just beautiful. I don't know much about that brand. I think I looked it up and the comps, like I was trying to send Courtney stuff that the comps would be over $20, like around 25 to 30 at least, you know, because she's doing a ton of work, like get it 30 boxes together. I want to make sure she got some good stuff. I don't know. So, and stuff that sells good for one person doesn't sell as well for others, I get that. But I wanted to send a mix. And these, I don't think, I think these are probably around $18 in comps when I looked them up, ish. Now watch, I look and I'm like, ooh, $600, I should have sent them. Mm, this was weird. And I, you know me, I can't, I, I can't pass up weird. I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. Um, love Hire. So this looks like it's a uh, recycle that someone has made. It's patchwork, it's raw hem, it has some different lace trimmings in here, um, and it's a jacket. Does it have buttons? Yeah, it has some buttons. One big button and then, that's kind of a fab button. It's okay, it's plastic. Um, but it doesn't have tags. Do you have tags? I wanted you to have tags, because I don't know. Stuff like this, I will wash it and then hang it to dry so that I can put in my listing um, washed beautifully or <laughs> I screwed it up so it's all destroyed. If you want it for a project, here, five bucks, whatever. Um, but I try and wash things. I don't, want, I don't want to send stuff without tags out to people and have them be the ones who ruin it. I'd rather ruin it um, because, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is soft and squishy. I think this is maybe going, what are you? What are you? Oh no, this is Winnie the Pooh. It's a sweatshirt hoodie. So cute. Uh, let's see. And this is Disney. Yeah, just Disney size small. Um, Disney comps. Eh. And so depending what they are, this may be going up to the shelter because it's super soft and squishy and someone would just love, wouldn't you just love a squishy poo to keep you company and warm? I don't know. Anyway, I haven't, I don't know. I have to go through things and really sort and figure out. But I also have like three other bags. I just pick up stuff when I'm outsourcing. The stuff that's like not the brand to sell or the style to sell, but is warm and that's really what matters and keeps your butt covered. Um, this was, I think, homemade. I think this is homemade, but it's beautiful. Um, it is this weird abstract, kind of looks like skulls actually, um, but it kind of a batik and it's just, it flares down, but it has like the off the shoulder with elastic. And I would say it's probably a size medium large. Uh, probably, maybe a large. Anyway, it's just really cute. Kind of got that tropical vibe. What are you? Oh, you are fun. Oh, you're Polo Ralph Lauren, made in the USA, size large. So vintage, vintage Ralph Lauren, I would say. I'll check. Um, but this is just a cool jacket kind of a very seriously dad jacket. It does have some fading. I don't care, it's vintage. Um, just needs washed up. Have to check the pockets. I have found so many tissues in pockets lately. I'm like, ugh. 
Ew. And most of them don't seem to be used, but ew. I also found some equal. And of course, my battery is dying. So let's see if this gets to be all in one haul or if we make it two. Because I need to go cook. Oh, this is pretty. What are you? You are uh, Sophisticates by Jonathan Martin. Jonathan Martin doesn't sell like super high end. There's some really nice dresses. It's vintage, but I can't read it in this light at all. You know that. But again, it's the, the dark moody floral. This is navy, but so pretty. I love this olive and the kind of magenta. What would you say that's magenta? Yeah, I'd say that's magenta. Um, but just that really dark, dark floral and I love that it's buttoned up the front because you can you can wear it open as a duster if you want frankly um but it's just pretty again like I said I grabbed this probably sell 20 25 maybe um I put a whole bunch of 90s style dresses back what are you are you silk you are silk um this is stunt sport USA this is not vintage, I don't think, but it's might as well be. It's the whole, um, I have a couple of silk vintage, like this kind of jackets, bombers. I didn't in my closet. I don't know why I bought this one, except for the fabric because of the animal print. And it's just very Golden Girls-esque. I don't know. But also like now. And it's in better shape than the other two I have. <laughs> so the other one, I was so it was so perfect, but then I went to like put it in its envelope and the zipper is stuck. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, there are boots in there. I forgot I got boots. This is a really pretty kid's dress. Uh, Johnny Be Good, uh, 9, 10. Um, but it's just really cute. And this... I don't know, kids clothes, as much as I love them, not a great return, kind of a waste of time, but I couldn't pass this up, especially, and then we have a couple family members who have kids who are heading into the 910s this spring. This would be perfect for them. I might just list it because it's pretty. Ooh, what are you? You are interesting. You are handmade, I think. Yes, you are. And you are, I don't know, like Little House on the Prairie chic. Half pint, wouldn't wear sleeveless, but she'd wear a shirt waist under. But it's just this cute plaid top. And then this dark floral. And it is, yeah, handmade. Are you a metal zipper? No. No, not metal zipper. So anyway, you know me, cute. There we go. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, this was really cool. And I don't know what this is and I should have looked it up, but it would have been way too big to send. But it feels, it was $20 at the, it's Hope and Harlow size four. Um, Goodwill wanted 20 bucks for it. And I think it's navy. Are you navy or black? I can't decide. Maybe it's black, maybe it's navy. But it's got this beautiful neckline. This is like really nice quality stretchy. Then it comes down to a banded waist and then it's banded waist, not abandoned. Um, but then it's this tool and underskirt. And so it's kind of like a ballet dress. So pretty, I love this neckline, the kind of boat neck. And it's got a little roll to it. It's beautiful. Um, don't know much about that brand, but I could not pass up that dress. So actually I know zero about that band, brand. So, you know, that just means I had to buy it. Let's see, these were interesting. Uh, these are made in Spain, size 38. And I had a couple pairs of shoes. So I had, when I first got, to, anyway, if there's a video when I first got there and I had to get it like tub and kick it around because there were no carts. And then I stocked someone and got a cart, but then someone kind of stole the stuff out of my tub and I got some of it back. But, um, yeah, these I got, even though they're faded here, so there's some damage, but they're just these really funky boots. Um, and I'm sure that they were quite expensive to begin with. Do I have a brand that I found in them? I think I did, and I think I looked it up, but I can't remember. 
And it's a, it's dark in there. I can't see right now. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute a little bit, but I don't know. Anyway, I grabbed those. What is going on with this? Cold weather, I tell you. It is not good for the curls. Um, I grabbed this little... See, this was covering... You're supposed to be able to put a blanket over your stuff and people aren't supposed to touch it, Or, but... Apparently, this wasn't a solid blanket, so it was open game. Anyway, I got this. Um, just a really cute little... Um, it's just knitted or crocheted. I used to do both. I don't do either anymore. I think that's crocheted. So really pretty, just little crocheted blanket. Love the colors on that. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is a fun dad shirt. This is a modern one, so this is weird. This is a king size 3XL. It's made in China, but I have one from the 70s that looks basically exactly like this already in my closet. It's a smaller size though, but I just couldn't help it. I think I could wear it one, um, might be a little big, but it's just fun. It's a total dad shirt. It's a total like Brady Bunch dude shirt. Oh, this is from my mama. I should take it down to her. This is a Christopher and Banks size L large um and it's just a really really cute pink and white sweater and she loves pink and white and she looks awful pretty in pink and white so i grabbed that for her. i think it's in pretty good shape i'll take that down with the sweatpants christopher and banks is interesting because people are like oh it's cheesy but they make some really good stuff and they're actually quite pricey in the store i know there's not a huge demand for them but people buy it um now these were in my first tub and someone was trying to take them they were new with tags, but I think the tags got... Anyway, these are Wild Fable. They're, so they're Target. Um, 2XL, but they're these really cute. This color is super on trend right now. This is more... It's more cinnamon in person. This is reading a little more red, I think, because we've got this behind us. Um, but it's like joggers with the patch pockets, the cargo pants. I was kind of thinking I'd try these on. It's not really my color, but with a top, I don't know. Anyway, so someone almost grabbed those, but I got them back. There was no wrestling involved though. Don't worry. I behave myself. Let's see. What is this? This is a 90s type dress. This is, oh yeah, Norton McNaughton. So Maggie McNaughton um, was part of this. It's a extra large. Again, this would be so pretty for Christmas. I need to get this listed. Um, just a basic little sheath dress. And again, yeah, our um, Goodwill wants nine ten dollars for dresses, unless they're either. So it's got two patterns actually here. So and it has a little flare at the bottom. It's just really pretty. Kind of a nice cranberry color. Such a good color on so many people. Is it half and half? Anyway, it's got different sh different patterns of the same tones. It's pretty. This is vintage. Oh my God, it's terrible. Towncraft par excellence for pennies. It's an extra large Fortel polyester. Let me show you those tags just because I can even though they're wrinkled so fun but look at this polyester goodness oh my gosh could you die i'm pretty sure that's a dude's because it would fit me mm, look at that collar oh my gosh can you see that this is fab so it's yellow and white i think in spring someone's gonna snap that up they might snap it up earlier who knows let's see what do we got here a dress shocker so many dresses. I love the dresses. Um, Hawaiian Reserve co Collection, made in Hawaii. So actually made in Hawaii, not Indonesia. Size medium. Uh, just a really, really pretty tropical print. Love that color. Um, does button down the front. So again, could be worn as a vest, a long tunic vest, dusty type, or as a dress, or you can slit it ooh, way up, get all sassy with it. Is that my second bag down? Oh, no, something else in here. What do we got? 
Oh, hold on. Sorry. It's way down there because it's the bottom of the bag. Oh, these. These are acorn. These don't look like they've hardly ever been worn. Um, just little slippers and they're size 10. I don't know if those are size 10 um, guys or girls, but my outside shoes, my garden shoes are totally trashed, like literally giant holes cracking, falling apart. So I thought, oh, they're wide. I don't know how those would be. Um, I might sell them. I'll see. Acorns are actually pretty decent as far as that kind of cost a lot depending on what they are, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Leaning tower of clothes. We got one more bag. Let's see if we can do this before my phone dies. All right. And if not, this will be a two parter. So this is a Jones, New York signature size large. I got it simply because of the pattern, because look at that. It's so in and so Christmas. This is like Christmas waiting to happen. Um, yeah. Love that, the red and the gold mustardy tan colors. So pretty, just a button up. And Jones New York, not one that people are gonna say, ooh, be on the lookout for, but it sells. This is a really cute orange jacket. So it's Nautica, it's a size, what are you? 14. Um, <laughs> it's making everything a different color. Someone's got it rolled up weird there, anyway. Um, Really cute, really, really cute. Are you cotton? I think you're cotton. Uh, yes. You are in cotton spandex, yeah. Acetate. Oh. Bama wool is cotton, not wool. I think I have a skirt listed wrong from Austria, Germany. Anyway, you learn things by reading the tags. Who knew? I guess I could use a Google Translate thing. But this is just a really cute orange jacket. Let's see, you can come over here. This is a really cute Sag Harbor woman. It is a size 16W. Again, a nice blazer. Um, this one probably is wool, two button. Really cute herringbone. It's got navy, olive, brown, and then there's like a maroony color. I love that color combination. So good for winter. Let's see. Are you wool? You are 40% wool acrylic poly. Can I wash you? Probably not. Dry clean only. <sighs> Dry clean only. What else we got in here? Uh, just a lands End extra large plaid shirt. This is actually, I think for my uncle. It's really soft. It's definitely worn. And if he doesn't want it, then I'll try and sell it or I'll donate it. But it's it's his kind of thing. So I think that's for him. This I got even though there's writing on the back because I could not help myself. Um, and unfortunately, they wrote all over Andrew Burris. Ruris? Audrey. No, Audrey. This is a made in the USA vintage, yes. And I can't read anything else because literally there's writing and the phone number here, don't call that number. Um, but it's a house dress. Look at how pretty that, it's so cute. So yeah, it's just a little house dress. And of course I'll disclose that there is permanent marker in the back. I'm not gonna cover it up because that would take a lot of covering. Um, but yeah, it's there. What are you? You're a jacket. Ooh, you're fancy. You are, do I have, oh, J. Crew. Size 38 short, Ludlow. So there we go. Just a nice kind of vintage inspired jacket. 38 short means it's a guys. So there we go. Like I need more blazers for the guys. Like I need a hole in the head, but you know, Ooh, this was cute. This is a jammy. I think a nighty gown. Let's see. Do you have tags or did I just grab you without tags? Willy nilly. Ugh. Look at this little cuteness. So it's old school. Are you ripped under the arm? Oh, I'll have to do a little stitch. It's got a little rip there, which I did not notice. Oh no, it's got one on each side. Maybe someone wanted bigger armholes. 
they seem like they're quite roomy anyway, but maybe that's how they're supposed to be. I don't know. Anyway, just this really cute, tiny gingham, little lace eyelet trims. Um, not really eyelet, but just a lacy trim. Super cute. It is vintage. I'm guessing I could be making that up, but let's see if there's a tag down here because there's no tag at the top. And are you handmade? And uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe. Anyway. It would help if I stopped looking at it and just went faster. Don't know. Got it. It's cute. This is driving me crazy. What is going on here? Let's just cover you up there. Slightly better. Mm. These are just some really cool Wranglers 3629 regular fits. Uh, they are made in Mexico vintage. Um, high waist, you know, light wash, all the good stuff. So I tried not to pick up that many jeans or pants because frankly, I'm not listing them. I have so many jeans to list. So many. It's like my least favorite thing to list. And I don't know why, because they're not that hard. What is this? This is linen. This is Nautica size extra large, 100% linen. Um, I don't know if Nautica has great comps. This might be going to the uncle. Is that a massive stain back here? This, that is a massive stain. No, that is not a massive stain. That is a reflection. Okay. This is why I can't see it. Like, I'm like, tell me if there's a stain people. I can't tell. Um, really nice. This is linen. Nice window pane check. So pretty. Okay. This I was not sure about. <clears throat> It's a Vince Camuto size four, but would you look at this collar neckline thing I'm above or what you will call it doohickey and it's snake skin. It feels great. Actually, are you silk? I don't think you're silk. I think you're poly. It's like, I couldn't tell if it was just excessively tacky or kind of awesomely tacky or just, I don't know. I think it would look beautiful on the right person. The colors are pretty. Now you're all poly. Can I wash you? Dry clean only. So you will be steamed within an inch of your life, but it's got this like snake, it's, like the necklace is pretty serious. It's actually stretchy too. Um, so it comes up here. It's like a haltery thing. High neck. What are you? What is this? There's, oh, that's your belt. It has a belt. The belt is here. It's Vince Camuto. It's got, it's this. It's really hard to show, but I don't know. I, I almost put it back three times and I finally just grabbed it. I was like, I don't know. I'm grabbing you and I'm putting you over there because we're going to talk about other things instead of you. This was so cute. This is, what are you? Viscos, um, handmade with love in India. Japana. Do you have a size, a size small? Um, oh, but you're pretty. Look at this pretty thing. Look at that beading. Oh, this is such a cute sundress. This actually might be going to um, the neighbor who has lived next door to me since I was born. Well, not here, but yeah, from the time I was born to 12 and then she moved into the house next door after we moved anyway, but this is beautiful and she might like it. I'll see what comps look like, but I didn't realize it was all beaded and stuff in front. I guess it's not beaded. It's kind of embroidered. So it's really pretty. What else have we got before we die? Not we. Oh, DKNY jeans, petites. This is just a really cute, flowy little summer top. Um, I don't know about prices on that kind of stuff or resell on DKNY. The Perfect Shirt J. Crew T6, 100% cotton. Um, but, okay, look at the gingham. Oh my gosh. So, for 4th of July or just summer or whatever the cuteness is, it's just really nice and it's a good feeling shirt. And it's J. Crew. So, there you go. What are you? You're plus size. Did I? Was I? What are you? Oh, you're One World. Yeah. One World 3X. Um, now, smaller sizes in this brand don't sell for that much. 
and I don't know about this one. I'm not, well, I'm kind of crazy about the print. It's got this black lace detail on the top and then it's kind of like a blown up snake skin. I don't know. It's very graphic. It's gonna be really slimming because of the dark on the sides. So the too dark, it's gonna be really cute actually. I'm gonna try that on. It's gonna be too big for me, maybe. But um, they just got funky stuff. That's a little boho, a little ethnic chic, a little whatever you wanna call it. So I grabbed this and I have sold a number of pieces in like the 1X, 2X, 3X sizes for good money. Um, this I'll probably list for like 29, maybe more, I'll check out comps. Um, just because I'm not certain about the print, it's not like, anyway, I got it because it was at the bins and I needed weight. I don't know why I got this. Oh yeah, your tie. It was a funky tie. It's a cool tie. What are you? Uh, something, no boundaries collection and I can't read the name there, but I'm pretty sure your silk feels like silk, looks like silk. I don't know. It's got a little gold chain there. It was kind of funky. I grabbed it. Ties do not sell super well, at least not on the Poshmark. So We'll see. Oh my gosh. Okay. This sweater. Hello. Everything in the whole world in this sweater. What are you? H U R extra small I H R. I don't know what that brand is. Don't know. What do you got here? You've got a weird stringy thing. It's an extra small. It is a duck cardigan. It's a mallard cardigan. Are you kidding me? Are you all wool? Do you say what you are? Let's see. Oh, you do down here, I think. Uh, wool and nylon. Oh good, I can wash it at home too. It's definitely got some pilling, so I'll have to sweater shave and disclose probably, but look at how cute that is. It's a navy. And it's got the ducks. Oh my gosh, love that. What are you, you're lightweight. I should have sent you to Courtney. Oh, I don't think you're anything good. Oh, this is just vintage blue. I don't think you're a good brand. Vintage, made in the USA, 5'6", yeah. Just kind of one of those fun little sheath dresses. Had to pick it up, 90s. Summertime's coming eventually. What are you, oh, you're pretty. Ooh, look at how pretty this is. Look at that laser cut detail. You're so pretty. Are you laser cut or are you woven? What are you? Oh, you're at Jones, New York. You are a silk and linen blend. Ooh, you're gorgeous. I thought you were. Size six, you're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this for, <gasps> think about that for Christmas with just a really pretty blouse or a, like a black, really like a black sweater, some nice boots or cute little ballet flats. Anyway. I gotta get you listed. I know this is a little more tropical. This could be poinsettias. Poinsettias are tropical. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I, woo, I have a poinsettia I've kept since last year and I need to put it under a box or it's not gonna turn red. I keep forgetting. Shoot, I should have started that sooner. The things you remember in the middle of filming a video. I'm sorry, that's super random. But now you know, there you go. I've never tried to keep it points out live for a whole year. This is a Karen Kane made in the USA, so vintage, but this is also, oh my gosh, gonna be so good for the holidays. Uh, is that black velvet? I think it's black. Burnout velvet, nice and long, really pretty gown, just so good. And it is a size 12, if I didn't say that. Yeah. 90s all the way. There we go. I told you there was going to be an, <laughs> an overload of 90s. What are you? You are super leg and look. You are cut loose medium. And I think, are you pants? No, you are a jumper. You are a very interesting jumper. And are you linen or cotton? Did it say up here? Oh, you may be stinky too. Are you stinky? Where did I just find that tag? Oh, there you are. No, it didn't say what it was, but let me flip this inside out for you or right side out. I think it goes with the buttons in the back because that's where the tag is. So it's this really cute little jumper. 
So I love the button up the back detail. It's gray, very legging look. Um, has cute little patch pockets in front. Let's see. Do you have other tags? I think you should have other tags somewhere to make me happy. Oh, I think that's why I was inside out because I was looking for other tags. It feels like linen, kind of looks like linen, but it could be cotton. <coughs> oh my gosh, we're almost done. And if you're still here, <coughs> you're amazing. And I totally forgot to tell you to get snacks at the beginning. I'm sorry, Pam. Mm, forgive me. Oh, you're pretty. What are you? Oh, you're plus size. You are lemongrass woman size 22. But look at this pretty super grandma. I know. And I know some people won't want to put it, pull this off. But it's really peach. It's really pretty. I think those are hydrangeas. I don't know. But it's peach and purple and like a very lovely little green here. And are you linen? Yeah, you're a linen cotton blend. And I can wash you. Thank you. Um, but with some high-waisted mom jeans, just a little French tucker open as a jacket. And I know some people like, no, I don't want to do the granny chic because when you're a larger size person like me, you're kind of worried that you're going to look frumpy. I think this is going to be cute, not frumpy, depending on how styled and someone will find it and love it. Maybe you, if you're watching. All right. What are you? You are a... Utility rayon. This is a vintage. Oh yeah, it has boats. It's a vintage kind of Hawaiian print shirt. I just liked the vibe of it. I love the colors and it is guys extra large. So that means it's up to probably a three X in ladies, even if it's vintage and I just need to check it over, make sure there are no stains, all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Well, we're almost to the bottom of this bag. What are you? Ooh, you're sassy. You're a cute little sassy skirt. You are, oh, Urban Outfitters Kimchi Blue, which I don't like to pick up, but this skirt was just really cute. And I'll probably list it as like goth, romantic, whatever. And someone will want it and wear it, and it's just adorable. And it is a size small. Just a really cute little skirt. This was the one I was looking for. Okay, I forgot. This is new with tags, and I have no what. No idea what it is, and I wanted to look it up because it's light, and I was going to send it to Courtney, but I couldn't find it. Mostly because it was all the way at the bottom of the bag. Um, Favlux fashion. I feel like that feels like it's something you order online, and it's not that exciting. But it's got these really cool, like, dolman kimono sleeves, and it's a huge long gown. It looks very 70s to me. It's this peachy, tanny color. Um, new with tags which means I'll be steaming the heck out of it. What are you made out of? Polyester, probably. Polyester, where's your tags? Anyway, I don't know. I just, I should have looked this one up. I wanted to look this one up and I couldn't find it because I didn't want to take everything out of the bags like I'm doing now because literally I'm surrounded now by stacks of clothes this high. What are you? Are you the last thing? Oh, hopefully you're good. You're cute is what you are. You are Michael Simon light size medium. Like Michael Simon, Michael Simon? No, he's a chef. He's an iron chef, Michael Simon. So probably not. You are cuteness though. It's this cute little embroidered jacket. It's got bicycles on it and I'm so into bicycles. I don't know bicycles and umbrellas lately. Seriously, I love the embroidery on this. You know that's why I picked it up. I don't know what this is. I just know it's a little jacket and there are people playing on it and it's so cute. Are you school? There's people in the back. Ah, there's a hedgehog and a squirrel. They're chilling out by the flowers. Look at them. Okay, this is super cheesy. I love it. This is what I call cheesy goodness. There's another hedgehog. There's two hedgehogs. You cannot go wrong. Look at that. Tolo, hello. Is that a hedgehog or a porcupine? Anyway, okay, we totally did it. Oh my gosh, it's almost an hour. And if you're still here, you're amazing. Yeah, so that's gonna be the haul. It'll be up tomorrow, which is Saturday because it's Friday night, you know. You know how I party on Friday night, film in the hall. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And in the last two videos, y'all apparently don't know movie trivia or don't watch the whole videos. One or the other. They were long videos as well. You probably won't make it to this point. There were two trivia questions 
And I have two $6 Starbucks cards to give out, but you gotta go back to those movies and answer the trivia question in the comments below. In this video, you should just say hi because it's nice. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, by the way. Uh, just chilled with the parents, gotta hang out and hold the pug. Had a really good sales day. I'm running a sale right now, but I've literally only sold one bundle in the sale, but I had really good sales, so I'm not mad at it. Anyway, hope everything is going with, well with you. I can hardly talk right now. I think I need some water. That you're out there making the world a better place because you're awesome and positive and kind and that you are kicking butt, taking names and making your dreams happen. That's what we're working on here. And I'm kind of a mess, but I'm going with it because that's life. Anyway, I will see you next time. <gasps> Ooh, okay, there probably won't be a Monday video. I need to get a whole bunch of stuff organized. <laughs> uh, because they're going to be installing my fiber optic cable finally on the 6th. But I literally have to have a place for them to get into. So there probably won't be a Monday video. And Wednesday, we will be doing the unboxing from Courtney Common Tags, uh, the reseller swap box. So make sure you come back on Wednesday. Uh, as always, I'm so just honored that you choose to spend some time with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.